In this video, I'm gonna talk about the four things men look for in women. The things that they want more than anything else in a woman. And this is pretty universal. Guys are gonna say a lot of things, but I've worked with a lot of fucking dudes, and it always comes down to these four things. So if you're a woman, watch this video, and you wanna know what they really look for from you, listen up. My name is Ed Baxter, and I help guys in betrayal situations. I've coached thousands of men. Tens of thousands of men have come through my doors in one form or another. I've had over 3,000 guys come through the Betrayed to Badass program. And that's what we do. We'll get you to that place where you make the right decision for you and your children. The first thing a guy looks for in a woman that women just don't do and he absolutely craves is appreciation. Even on the first date, you should be appreciating something about him and tell him so. Hey, I really appreciate how you held the door for me. Not many guys do that. Hey, I really like the fact that you decided to take me to this restaurant. It's a really cool place and I've never been here. Hey, I really like the fact that you were afraid to walk up to me, but you did anyway and you asked me out. Any kind of appreciation is absolutely fundamental. And when you start appreciating him, watch how he opens up. Most men never get compliments. So you just appreciating anything about him is gonna make the world a difference. And when you are with him and you're with him a long time, don't let up. Keep your foot on the fucking gas of appreciation. That's all he wants. Men work their fingers to the bone for their families and for the women around them. And all they want is a little bit of appreciation. But most of the time, men don't get appreciation because they end up dating women who are entitled. They think that the man owes them something. They think that she is entitled to the money he makes and his time and attention. And most men are willing to just go along with this. They've been programmed that that's what they're supposed to do, that they are just a workhorse to be exploited. Most men feel this way. If you don't believe me, start asking around. Most men feel that they've been exploited in some form or fashion by women in their life because they don't get the appreciation. They want the appreciation. Men are built to provide and protect and to do things for women. We're just built that way and for children. But what we want is we want some appreciation. We want somebody to acknowledge the fact that we're killing our fucking selves. So if you can just give him appreciation right out of the gate, and just lay it on thick and keep it going. Even if you've been with him for 30 years, it's gonna make a world of difference. Which leads me to my next point. Men want devotion. They wanna feel like you're his girl and nobody else. They want to know that only you only have eyes for him. They want this kind of devotion massively. When the guy doesn't have this, when he feels like you're talking to somebody else or maybe you're trying to flirt with somebody else to make him jealous to get more attention, it destabilizes him. You see, when a guy is trying to have a woman in a committed relationship, he's trying to build a foundation for his life, an emotional foundation, so he can go out there and have the war and come home to a sanctuary. But if you're over there and you have a sideways glance for this other guy, you like his best friend, or you like to flirt with other guys to get attention and validation, it destabilizes the relationship. So what's the first thing he does? He gets jealous. And when you go out there and you start accusing of being, oh, you're just jealous, you just mess it up even more. Now he doesn't trust you even more. And so with a guy, he needs to be able to trust that you are or his girl, that you only have eyes for him. Devotion is absolutely critical. If you're in a situation where you don't want to be with him, then you got to just go. The worst thing you can do is get another guy on the hook and then slowly let your guy go and jump into the arms of the other guy. That's the worst thing you can do to a guy. A guy can understand, hey, I'm just not interested, I just want to go, a lot more than, hey, I got cheated on. And trust me, I know this because I work with guys in a betrayal space. This is what we do. I see this every day. It absolutely destroys a guy. So he wants to see this devotion from you. And if you're not with that kind of guy, if you can't be that with him, then you owe it to yourself and you owe it to him to be with somebody else you can be that way with. You need to be all on his team absolute devotion to him and what he wants to do in his life. If you can't be devoted to where he wants to go, if you can't be devoted to his cause or his passion or whatever it happens to be, and you want to change it, you don't think that he's going in the right path and you think that he should be doing something else, then you got to find a different guy. You shouldn't be trying to change him. You should be boosting him up to try to be the best guy he can be. And that shows devotion. Devotion also means loyalty. If the guy feels this way, he's going to feel safe. And if he feels safe with you, he's going to provide and protect and preside in the home in the way that you want him to. The third one is desire. He wants to feel like you desire him sexually. Most guys live in this world of not really getting enough sex, not getting enough sexual attention. Some guys do, but most guys don't. And so they always play this game of having to chase after it all the time. And so he gets happy. That's why we have terms like he's getting lucky. It's something that should be desired and enjoyed by both people. 
And if he's in a situation where he's not getting enough, if you don't desire him sexually, he's going to feel it. And he's going to start doing other things to try to get you to be turned on. And this can be a slippery slope because him trying to chase after this, trying to chase after the desire from you, now means that you're going to look at him as like, ah, he's just not that interested. And like, why is he interested? I don't know. He's just kind of acting not sexy. And so then he'll go down this road of like trying to do more and more and more. And then he'll have a blow up and he'll yell at you or he'll say, you just don't attract to me. And it'll just become a big issue, which will turn you off even more. And so as a woman, you have to learn to turn your desire on. Don't be in the place where I see a lot of women where they don't take responsibility for their own ability to have sexual desire. As a woman, you can do this. I have seen this countless of times with women. You have to cultivate your ability to have desire in the relationship, the sexual desire. Now he may be doing things that are completely turning you off and that needs to be addressed as well. But you have to take ownership of what you find attractive and what turns you on. You have to bring that to the forefront of the relationship. You can't just sit back and wait for it to just happen and magically be in the space for sex. Because if you do that, it's always gonna go back to this place of it's not fun, it's not spontaneous, it's just not that great and then you're gonna be unsatisfied. And then he'll be unsatisfied, and he'll start chasing after you, and you won't like it, and you'll push him away, and then he'll make it a big deal, and then you'll see him as weak, and he'll turn you off even more, and you'll both spin out. And so taking control, taking responsibility for your desire is absolutely critical. If he's doing something that's not desirable, you have to have a communication about it. You have to be vulnerable about it. You have to stop trying to spare his feelings in such a way. Again, don't be harsh, don't be mean about it, but you gotta just say, hey, I need you to be this way. And trust me, he'll do it. He'll absolutely do it. And the last thing, the last point we wanna hit on is attractiveness. A lot of women don't wanna hear this. They wanna just be loved for who they are and they can be loved for who they are. But again, we're just a bunch of hairless monkeys. And so your attractiveness matters. You should do everything in your power to maximize the way that you are in the attractive space. You should be looking at the way that you're your fitness, you should be looking at your dress, you should be looking at how your diet and fitness is. This matters. How you take care of yourself matters to a guy. Just because you get married and you get comfortable in a relationship doesn't mean you can just let that fall apart. Most guys don't like to talk about this and women always shame guys for saying this, but this is how guys are built. And you can get mad at guys for being built this way, but this is how nature is. And if you get mad at how nature is, you're always gonna lose. You can't fight nature, but what you can do is you can start working with it. And trust me, just like your guy, if he goes out there and he stops being attractive, you're not going to like it. If he starts being a wimpy dude, if he loses his vision, if he becomes a dad bod sitting on the couch and he has no greater goals for his life and he's ignoring his children and he's not talking to you and you feel like you're not even just a roommate with him, it works the other way too. And so you owe it to your partner to maximize your attractive value. Just like I owe it to my partner to maximize my attractive value for her. It goes both ways. And so these four points are absolutely critical. This is what guys really want. If you can provide these four things, this guy will be with you forever. This conversation of men and women and being attractive, and why do they stay with each other, has fascinated me for years. This is why I do this work. Namely, I found out that most of the things that guys do in relation to maximizing their life also is what women find attractive. And so that's what I work with with the guys. And every one of these guys are always looking for these four things in a woman. He can never find them. Appreciation, desire, devotion, and mattering about their attractive value. Most guys don't get to have this in their life because, well, for one, they're not really the kind of guy that can elicit that kind of behavior in a woman because they're not a big catch themselves. So we turn that around. We make these guys a good catch, a really good catch. We turn them into conscious men. Conscious meaning that they're very aware of how they operate and why they operate and slaughtering their fucking ego to get to the prize at the end of the tunnel. Whatever that happens to be in their body, in their being, their balance, their business, whatever that happens to be, and in this place claim their greatest cheerleader. But on the other side, the guys complain all the time that women are entitled, that they expect them to do all these things, that the guy should be just lucky that she's paying attention to him or giving him any kind of glance or talking to him. And the guy gets, gets so frustrated because it's like these women don't bring anything to the table. Guys generally don't require much. They don't require a woman to have a job. They don't require her to be a boss bitch. They don't require her to be a performer in society, in the world. The only thing that they really want from their woman is appreciation, devotion, and desire, and they want her to stay attractive. That's it. If she can do this, she can bring heaven to home. And that's all he wants. He wants a place that he could take off his armor and chill the fuck out. 
When he goes out to war outside the house and he goes into business and he's fighting with dudes and he's getting shit done and getting his, bloody, his knuckles bloody for his family and his children, that's all he wants. And people in society have conflated this. They keep saying, oh, well, we have these different roles that are outdated and stuff. Well, maybe they are outdated, but I can guarantee you most men desire this deeply. Some guys will have some different flavor of this, but this is what they want. Appreciation, devotion, and desire, and to stay attractive. And that's it. That's all he wants. And women put to put too much pressure on themselves to be attractive. They don't have to do all this stuff. Just generally take care of yourself. You don't have to go all out. You don't have to be a freaking supermodel or anything like that. Most guys don't care about that. Most guys just want you to be the best version of your own attractive value. That's what they want. That's what they chose you for. That's all you have to be. Just be you. Just do you in the best way that you can. And make sure you honor this man in front of you and he will honor you in return. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more like that, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.